The Sixers declined to pick up their fourth year option on Jaleel Okafor, who has not seen the court that, that much this year at all. Here's what he had to say, quote, I've asked for a buyout. I had a talk with Brian about that yesterday just because I want to play. I know that's not being here. I know a buyout is one of the options where I get an opportunity to play elsewhere and to get on the court. But Brian didn't think it would be a good idea because he said they would be giving me away to a team for free, but that's pretty much where we stand right now. I'm just worried about my career. I want to be on the court. I have word for my fellow NBA brethren. Okay, what's up? Jaleel Okafor, I've been in this situation. First round pick of the Nuggets, starting in the playoffs, mm -hmm. playing in the rookie game, mm -hmm. breaking the team's all-time assist record for a rookie, coming back second year, trying to continue to get better, leading the team in assists. Then I got traded to Indiana. And you know what happened that year? DMPs. Larry Brown year. 15. So my advice is, number one, don't do anything where they can find you when they're not playing you. Mm. Don't be late for practice. Don't be insubordinate. Don't be popping off. When you go to the game and you have on a jersey, but underneath it you have black sleeves on, I've been there in Indiana. I've been there in Phoenix. That's before the game you know, regardless of the score, regardless of foul trouble, regardless of the matchups, we could be up 20 or down 20. They're not putting me in. Really? You, you know what that means? They're trying to nudge you out of the league. So you have to find a way to persevere psychologically, emotionally, get through it, and then find another opportunity elsewhere. Because I think on the box in particular, he can get buckets. 